my review of Little Nightmares 2 without playing Little Nightmares 1. So I did not play Little Nightmares 1. I am going into this blind. As a streamer, I give it an 8 out of 10. I think it was a really good game. The only reason it's an 8 and not a 10 out of 10 is because it's honestly not that scary. It's It's got a lot of good suspense and it's got some spooky elements to it. But I'm going to sleep perfectly fine tonight. I am not going to have nightmares about the man in the hat. It's not truly horror of a horror game. But it just got a very scary ambiance, you know. But at the same time, it is an absolutely beautiful game. A super confusing story that we still can't figure out. Hopefully Little Nightmares 1 gives us some kind of insight onto it. And I definitely look forward to playing it because it was such a great game. But absolutely beautiful. The music elements to it were amazing. Little collectibles to find. Beautiful enemies that you're avoiding and like they're the creativity and the design of them and the layout of the level everything was just very beautifully done some areas i struggled with the puzzles were a bit much you know but that might just be <laughs> my poor managing of horror games i'm just not good at them but yeah all in all i think it was really gay as that was, I give it an 8 out of 10 as a player and a streamer. Same for the people watching, you know. It's not too scary, but it's it's always got you on the edge of your seat, you know. You never know what's going to happen next, which, what twist and turn is going to come. And they break it up perfectly into little segments that's just really well made. So, the chat enjoyed watching it. The end, the story by the end of it had everyone, they could, like, they, they didn't want to go to sleep. They wanted to see the end. They wanted to see the finish, you know, what happens. And it's just crazy. The twist and turns throughout the whole thing. So I think it's just a super well-made game, not the scariest horror game. So lots of people can enjoy it, but yeah, uh, I give it an eight out of 10 just all around. And it's just, it's really good. I recommend it to anyone interested in playing a little horror game. Again, it's not going to have you staying up at night, but it is just a really good game. And it's super fucking cute. It's a good time. Yeah, that's Little Nightmares 2.